In this class, I will teach you how to create Corporate Identity or CI by using the logo that we have created to design a business card, an envelope, and a letterhead. Let's try it together. Open the file with our logo. Okay, this is our logo. Click on it and you have to copy it by pressing Ctrl C and then you have to paste it onto the paper that I have prepared for you which is the paper.ai then you have to paste Ctrl V oops uh, I can't paste the object here let's check it why this happened I have to go to a uh, window layer and as you can see I am working on the long layer I should work on the layer with icon I so let's change now you now you will notice that there are four layers in paper.ai since I have prepared four choices for you guys you need to pick only one that suit your CI the most the first one consists of a horizontal envelope with a horizontal business card. The second consists of a vertical business card and a horizontal envelope. The third one is um, a vertical business card and a horizontal envelope. And the last one consists of vertical envelope and a horizontal business card. Pick the format that suits your CI the most. For my CI, I think the first format suits my logo most. Now I am pasting my logo into a logo box and you will notice that the logo that I have just pasted appears to be a bit duller than its original. See, the original is very bright. But why it's duller on paper AI? I will show you why it's happened. Here paper AI has set in CMYK mode which is very good for printing at printing house however we need to switch to RGB since we are going to print this assignment at photo house and they will accept only RGB mode when we switch to RGB mode what I have paste before will not auto automatically change so we need to erase it and paste the same object again see it's bright like the original one. For the font that I am going to use, uh, I think I'm using, I'm going to use the Comic Sans MS. Comic Sans MS. The font has a cartoon appeal and goes very, very well with this club's logo. Next, we are going to pick our corporate colors. You can get them from colors of the logo. Then type down code. To get that code, click on an object with the color and go to window color. The code for this blue is R45 or, um, or red 45. So you have to type R45 B or blue is two two five uh two two three and G is zero G is green. And for the layer yellow it's R two five five G two two nine and B zero. When we get everything ready, it's time to draw. But let me show you the complete work. I create consistency by using two main colors. And I use gray on the text here, see? I also list down the code of this gray color as well. And I use only one font, so I can just erase the space for the second and the third font 
you guys may wonder how this part can be cut. This is because I create a white rectangle to cover this area. So it appears to be cut. If we left it without anything to cover, the exceeding area will be shown too. So uh, I also provide white covers for each exceeding areas. Here we are done with CI. I think you have to uh, cover all the exceeding areas with the white rectangle. Some of you might want to know how we get lots of words to fill in this letter. You may type them by yourself and see that which font will go well with your CI and how much space that you can type in. And for the envelope, you may type in the senders and receivers area or address as well. You have to spare some space for the sender and receiver address. Don't forget to leave a space for stamp. And if you don't want to type in this text, you may generate text using lowlem lipsum and copy them onto this letter. Also, you don't forget to type your name and ID. Save this assignment as your ID underscore CI. Save as your ID underscore CI. Okay, we are done.